Hi everyone. I thought it was probably an important thing to put a video together to talk about how important tone production is on our instrument. In fact, on any instrument. This is what I call foundation practice and it should be done every day. There are two ingredients to great sound on any instrument. One of those ingredients is a fantastic imagined concept of the sound that you would like to produce. As much detail as you can put into that concept is going to help you get that sound out of your instrument. And the other ingredient to making great sound, we need a fuel source. So for instance, to play a string instrument like a violin, the fuel source to make that instrument make sound is the drawing of the bow across the string that creates the vibration, creates the sound. For us as brass players, that fuel source is wind. Unobstructed breathing and blowing as relaxed as we can will create the most natural vibration with our lips and so too on the instrument. So I advocate that we do breathing practice separate from the instrument itself. The act of breathing we want to keep as natural and simple as possible. And sometimes when we have the instrument in our hands and a difficult piece of music in front of us, all of these complexities can get in the way of the simplicity of the breath that we need to create the wind that will make our sound natural. So let's start by doing some breathing exercises. Grab your breathing device, either a rebreathing bag or a breath builder. And we'll just do three or four repetitions in and out, nice and slow, just to assure us that our wind column is unobstructed and that our muscles here and our torso are as relaxed as possible on the intake of air and also in the expulsion of air. couple of long, two or three long deep breaths before you start to practice and just relax all of this and make sure that the breath that you take in and the breath that you use is as open and relaxed as it needs to be to play our instrument. Now the exercises that I'm going to work with you right now on are the Charles Collin tone production exercises that are in your trombone book, they're on page TB24. I'll just help you through the first one through each of the different steps that I like to choose to do for this one and then I'm going to presume that you can carry that on to the other exercises on the page. So we've done our breathing exercise, now we need to feed our concept and the best way I know to feed the concept of sound and pitch and everything that I, when I get ready to start playing is to play what I'm about to play on the piano and then to try to emulate those pitches with the most beautiful resonant singing voice that I can manage. through each of these exercises in this first section before I play them. Now the next step is to use those beautiful breaths that we took in the breathing device and try to emulate that beautiful pitch that we just sang. I call it singing with the lips. Without the instrument we take the mouthpiece 
and we just buzz as relaxed as we can with a nice deep breath that is very scientific. <laughs> try not to force the sound on the mouthpiece. We don't want to force the sound on the instrument, so why would we do it on the mouthpiece? As relaxed as possible, we're not trying to make a huge loud noise on the mouthpiece, just a very vibrant, resonant one. As resonant as this mouthpiece can be. As you can see, it's not much of a resonating device. Not like this one. <laughs> this is an amplifier. This takes what is a rather smaller sound and amplifies it to be the big trombone sound that we know. So here, we've just done the finished product into our mouthpiece. We should aim to play in the trombone now the exact same way as we did into the mouthpiece and use the trombone the way it's intended to be a megaphone and not something that we have to push or force into to create sound. The sound we, are, we just created in the mouthpiece should be enough to fuel the amplification device that the trombone is and make this sound like a great trombone sound. Keep accessing that sound in your head. Keep listening to that imagined sound in your head. Keep feeding it and we'll keep feeding our lips with vibrant vibration, if you like, so that we can achieve that golden sound. Thank you. light pressure on the mouthpiece on your face so that you're not pushing the instrument too hard into the vibrating surfaces. We want these to really resonate, we want them to really buzz. So we don't want to push stuff against our lips as they're vibrating. Nice light, uh, light pressure on our vibration, just enough to keep the instrument on our face just as it was when we buzzed the mouthpiece. Keep doing the same process for all of these other exercises. Start by taking a breathing exercise with your breathing device. Relax your breathing. Don't move on to the next step until your torso, until your breath feels like it's coming in and out as relaxed as it can be. Then move on to singing the exercises and playing the notes on piano as well. Go back to the piano as often as you need to make sure that what you're singing 
is as in tune and beautiful and resonant as it can be. Then we go to the mouthpiece and the same applies. Nice deep breaths. Keep going back to the piano any time you feel like you're not directly in pitch and stay on that step of the exercise until you feel very comfortable that what you're doing in the mouthpiece is going to get you the results you want on the trombone as great a sound as you can manage. And then on the trombone. Through all of these different exercises, I'd say this video is probably sometime, somewhere between five and 10 minutes long. So let's say that this first exercise takes you about five minutes without all of the talking that I've been doing that's taken up some time. If you go through each of these steps with the other exercises on this page, then this page, TB24, should take you maybe about 20 or 25 minutes. And that would be excellent practice. If you don't have 25 minutes, I urge you not to just cut out some of those steps. Maybe you'll think to yourself, I'm not going to sing them today, I'll just play them. I won't buzz either. Each of these steps is crucial in building a great sound and a relaxed approach to the trombone. And I would rather that if you only have 10 minutes, do two of these exercises this way that I've shown you on this video. Look to some of the other videos. Uh, I'm going to be approaching all of the material the same way. It's so important to sing, breathe, buzz, and play as you practice small fragments of these exercises.